Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to episode 9 of our Cao Cao Let's Play. We pick it up from turn 39 in the spring of 198. Uh, last time, uh, we have decided to go to war with Sun Ce. Um, after we disbanded everything, he saw the opportunity to declare war on us, and he has sent his army to capture Jianye away from us. Uh, we will be losing Jianye for sure, uh, but we'll take this opportunity to uh, utilize our two newly recruited uh, armies, uh, everyone with level 6 recruits, uh, all thanks to our um, Tun Tian conscription building which boosts all starting rank for all new recruits by 3, as well as the understanding uh, ability uh, skill um, that Cao Cao and Lady Bian has in their faction leader and heir positions. So we have this army in ambush mode. There was an army led by Huang Gai nearby. Uh, I want to chase down that army, so I won't be utilizing them to capture the city. Because they're closest to, uh, they're the closest to the possibility of catching up. So if they capture the city, they lose all their movement points. Instead, I'll have this army in the back, led by Dian Wei, to capture the city. All right, this is a small city. Um, it has a military infrastructure building. Therefore, there is a artillery unit on the wall. The walls are already damaged from Sun Ce just taking it from the Han Empire. So since we have a tribuchet in our army, we don't need to wait a turn to uh, build siege equipment. We can just jump into the fight right now and most of the wall is already broken. So we open up night battle and we jump into the fight. Uh, if we don't have night battle on, we can receive reinforcement from our ambush party over here. But we don't need them for this fight. Uh, we'll just uh, enable night battle and fight this out. Actually, now that I look at it, we can get a decisive victory without actually going into the fight. We can delegate this and then have them chase uh, with a full army and they can rest up one turn and it will be replenished. So let's do that instead. I think we'll lose maybe two, three hundred men. Wow, four hundred. A little bit more than I wanted. But we definitely took the city. It was just quicker for us. Alright, and taking that city boosted our prestige all the way to Marquis. So now we have one more trade agreement available, one more spy available, one more administrator available. Uh, so we'll take advantage of that soon. I don't see their army. Maybe they escape all the way to the tool maker. Uh, I'm not certain. So we'll just have to check a little bit. Uh, we can come to about here. I guess it's 45% no matter where I put him. It's out in the open. Ah, we found Huang Gai's army. So his army is actually in the tool maker of Yangzhou, which I don't know if we can reach. Uh, we can try it. I think we're close. If we can reach and put it in siege, it would be great. So uh, we checked the army before. It's uh, not very strong, it's all rank 1, except for this crossbow unit, which is rank 3. So we can handle it. So let's send Saffoldun over. Uh, unfortunately, we can't reach them. Um, so maybe move back a little bit. That way, if we have to retreat, we can retreat closer to the city. But if they come out and fight, we'll fight them. This is not a hard fight for us. So the Vans are taking Yangzhou by delegating it and not sieging it. All the, all the buildings are intact, uh, although I don't like any of these buildings. Yangzhou is uh, peasantry and uh, industry town, which is kind of unique. It's not exactly uh, harmonizes very well with the buildings, uh, but it could potentially be a big, uh, have big returns in terms of uh, uh, Yangzhou as a, as a commandery, because it, it does have three. Um, counties, which always helps. Uh, what we want to do is demolish these two buildings and eventually build out. Uh, right now, since we don't have the tool maker, we'll build out the um, land development and government support first. Uh, we can get Yujin over here to help out with construction starting next turn. And we do have a administrator slot open. So technically we could 
uh, get someone to become the administrator of Yangzhou and help build it out uh, a little bit better uh, or cheaply. Uh, Liu Peiming could do that with minus 15 percent. Yu Jin could have done minus 22, 23 from Zuo Zilan. This all depends on how high their expertise skills are. Uh, the best one is actually Cao Ren. Um, I really wanted to save the administrator slot for Jian Ye, but we currently don't have a way to keep Jian Ye. So we'll make do in the meantime to not waste the administrator slot. We will assign someone here. I guess since Yu Jian is better for cost reduction, we can have Liu Pei Min do the construction. And Yu Jian can um, temporarily be an administrator. Uh, in the future, we can replace him. Now, he will suffer... Um, a bit of uh, satisfaction loss, but that's okay. Alright, now that's covered. Um, we'll check the rest of the stuff we need to do for this turn. We can pick up a new reform. Uh, we should con start consider going for some of these um, agriculture reforms because this one right here enables level 4 livestock farm, and now we have two sources of livestock farm, which uh, it's, it's significant uh, to start considering this. Or alternatively, we can continue down um, this route right here to connect uh, these important commerce buildings. Uh, this enables all the way to level 4 um, state workshop building, and over here is a bunch of uh, income increase boost. Um, both are viable. I think I'll start investing over here, uh, going for that level 4 state workshop. And this also enables level 4 tool uh, maker, which we will soon capture from Yangzhou. So we'll build this out over here, this path right here. Um, other than that, we should look to see who else we can trade with, uh, since we do have a new trade route available when we um, increased our rank. Okay, so both Kong Rong and Liu Bei is available. Uh, we'll strengthen our relationship with Liu Bei. Um, he is clearly doing our bidding for most of this game so far. And we will continue to um, keep him in the loop and make him our uh, servant as we go forward. Um, I'm trying to see if I can try to get more territory from him. I could try to get the city of Dong from him, but then that would make us border Yuan Shao, which I don't actually want. We can't get Langya from him, because that's um, uh, his capital, so maybe not. We'll just ask for some money. Uh, requests regular payments? Well, he is actually quite poor. Um, does he want to be our vassal? Oh, it's possible. It's not impossible. We can definitely make that work in the future. Uh, let's see how much cash he has on hand. He doesn't have that much. But he also doesn't have much of the economy. He can't really give us much gold. That's not optimal. Maybe we just ask for this. Additional 700 gold? 800 gold? That's not bad. Yeah, let's do that. This also improves our relationship with him and Koron. All right. Uh, let's see what else. I think that covers everything. Uh, we just need to look at uh, whether we have something to build. Yeah, these are fine. Yeah, yeah, we can't do anything because they're about to be captured. Um, outside of trade routes, you also have these two new positions available. Uh, both are still, in my opinion, a little bit expensive, so we're not going to do anything with them. And let's end turn. Alright, so Huang Gai marched out uh, and attacked us. Uh, it's good that we moved back a bit, so now the town garrison can't reinforce this fight. Uh, the AI think they'll win this fight, but, you know, we know we can win this. Let's do it. Alrighty, uh, so beautiful weather. Spring, dry, temperate weather. They'll be attacking us, so we can pull back and uh, wait for them to march towards us. Uh, we'll set up our trebuchets so they have maximum amount of range where it doesn't overlap with the tree line. Uh, we can actually pull them over a little bit over here. 
That way the tree and the hill will be even less impactful. Uh, they only have two range units in their army, so um, we actually don't need to worry too much about uh, protecting our units from the enemy archers. Uh, we'll be setting up our um, archers with fire arrows in the back and our crossbowmen in the front to maximize the amount of range uh, we can shoot. And the archer's job is mainly to, once they come close, uh, they've probably already been shot up pretty uh, um, by our crossbowmen, the last bit of fire arrow will, will decrease their morale to the point where they'll just rout. We'll have our front line of uh, turtled um, spear guards, as well as our flank protected by the G militia. They have four units of uh, cavalry, so uh, protecting the, the flank is actually quite important here. We'll put our cavalry to the side. Uh, they will be flanking uh, and coming back to attack the whoever collides with our line. Xiao Du and Xiao Huyuan will be harassing the enemy. And actually, Li Xiu can help out by shooting at the enemy general as well. So let's get started. Alright, I really want to get a duel between Huang Gai and uh, Xiao Hou Dun because uh, you know, it's quite a legendary character. And uh, Xiao Hou Yuan isn't quite strong. He doesn't have the high tier weapon and he's only level 2. So I'll try to get Li Xiu to um, snipe Zheng Bao down a little bit before fighting him because he does have a, a quite a good weapon. Uh, as well as his higher level than Xiao Yuan, so it could be difficult. Let's see. Let's see if they want to duel us. Uh, everyone is on, um, what do you call it, um, fire will, so they seem to be wanting to come towards our cavalry, so we'll loop to the other side. Uh, let's see if we can get some shots. Alright, let's fight Huang Gai. And let's have our guy pull back a bit. We already picked him to shoot at. Um, um, let's. In order to focus on the duel, I'm gonna pull everyone back. That way we can actually watch this duel. Alright, let's get some splash damage. Nice. Let's see if Huang Gai is a match for us. I mean, Huang Gai is quite strong. Level 4, good armor, good weapon, good ancillary. But Xia Houdin is our beast. Let's do it. Hmm, seems like we're losing this one right now. Hopefully we can turn this around. Um, I feel like Xiao Yuan is getting attacked. Hopefully he'll be fine. Alright, let's activate this ability one more time. It's gonna be close. Don't know who's gonna win here. Mm, this is really close. Come on, Xiao Dun. Oh, there you go. Alright, we won that one. Let's take care of our battlefield here. Alright, Xiao Hou Yuan is fine. He still got back. Their cavalry is trying to flank us. Uh, we can rush our cavalry into their cavalry uh, to uh, destroy them before they're able to flank us. Uh, Xiao Hou Dun killing um, Huang Gai got him enraged. Uh, a lot of them are losing morale, which is interesting. We won't be fighting him. Um, Xia Hou needs to be charging out and attacking the archers. Xia Hou needs to come back and do the same thing. Alright, let's fire him. Alright, the cavalry collided into our infantry. Now we can come by and wipe them out. Alright, and then we can just loop our cavalry around after this and start attacking their line once they collide with our line. Xiao Dun continue to charge at the archers. Xiao Dun can try to kill the strategists, should be pretty easy. 
All right, let's charge back, hit them from the rear, and this should wipe out that group right there. See the damage? All right, we got this. Right. What? They kill Li Xiu? What? That's impossible. All right, we lost our strategist. Uh, I forgot whether he had um, resilience or not. But if he didn't, he's gone for good. Alright. We gotta somehow kill this guy. The, the enraged mechanism. He's now enraged again because uh, we killed the strategist. Alright, they can take it easy and just kill the um, crossbowman. And we can try to kill the general with our cavalry. Which would be difficult. Alright. This unit is not doing much. We can shift him over. Uh, these two are out of arrows, so we pull them back. Oh, they're getting surrounded. Maybe if we charge back, we can shatter them. Their morale is suffering. Alright. Use the ability for slash damage. Charge over to the other archer. Alright, our cavalry is doing the job. They got him. Yeah, generals aren't that strong once they get surrounded by the enemy. So that's why we can't let our generals be surrounded by infantry. Alright, let's crash into that. Charge damage. Alright, we got them. Now we can run our cavalry down. Let's see. Any infantry men? Yeah. So we can have our cavalry run down these uh, scattered infantry. I guess the cavalry we can't catch, but we can catch the others. Alright. That covers everyone. Once this group shatters, uh, the battle is ours. Uh, unfortunately, we lost our um, strategist, which is uh, quite sad. The enraged general does a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, I'll be cutting it here, but I'll be continuing to chase with my cavalry to kill off the rest of the, these units. Alrighty. There goes Huang Gai. That wasn't an easy fight for us, uh, because despite their units being low level, their generals were actually quite high level. Uh, we captured Huang Gai. Uh, he's unwilling to be employed by us. That's understandable. Um, yep, he's Othor and friends with uh, he's, uh, with the two generals that were in that battle. Um, I don't want to release him, actually. If we kill him, we can keep his armor. And uh, given what he did to us at Chibi, it's understandable. We'll just execute him here. Uh, given the amount of damage we took, especially the amount of damage Xia Dun took during that duel, we'll be getting the replenishment here, even though the thousand gold is quite attractive. Well, we have a situation. Uh, well, Yuan Shu signed a peace treaty with Liu Bei. Uh, Cao Ren has a new son. Our spy returned again. Uh, third time is not the charm. Failed again. Uh, Sun Ce, the son of the late Sun Jian, has become famed. A little conqueror gives us increased replenishment, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, so we have a situation where Dong Zhuo has uh, sent an well, army group here to attack our capital, which is uh, basically not defended. Uh, the garrison... Oh, we do have the... Uh, we do have the administrator garrison. I should pull him out and recruit an actual full unit for him. Liu Bei also has an army nearby. I mean, one option we have is to see if we can get a peace treaty with him, but the terms are just very bad. Um, let me think. I feel like Liu Bei could help us out here, and we might be able to defend Chen. Even if the odds are against us. 
They don't have any siege weapons and their cavalry units wouldn't be very good attacking the city. And if they do lay siege rather than attack the city, we can send an army back and we'll be able to rescue it. Okay, Li Xiu was resilient, so uh, he was able to survive that battle. So you notice the legendary status helped out here. Uh, so he did pick up Maimed as a trait, uh, which is fine. Uh, injures his melee damage, but we never uh, counted as melee damage for anything. He leveled up despite getting killed in that fight. And we can pick up um, Patience, uh, increase the chance of capturing enemy officers post battle. And then we can eventually pick up Guile for the 25% chance of ambush, uh, which are both very good for with him in the army. Uh, we did pick up a better sword, but there's no point to give it to him. Uh, we also picked up better armor, but since Sahodun has unique armor, uh, there's no need to give it to him either. Um, Sahodun, we are picking up Vengeance, that's the one we really wanted. This will increase his um, base damage, uh, both in terms of melee damage, base damage, as well as armor piercing damage, as well as give him Mighty Knot back, so this is a great buff. Uh, we'll be continuing to attack Yangzhou. Uh, Zheng Bao retreated back. He's not on the battlefield because he's still wounded this turn, so we can take Yangzhou pretty easily. Uh, meanwhile, I feel like I should start sending Dianwei back towards uh, Chen. Uh, they're pretty injured, but they can get back um, and heal up for two more turns, I think. Um, the item we did pick up well, he's oh, he's minus thirty. He's only thirteen now. I mean, one option is to make him administrator. It's not the worst option. Technically, making him administrator will be the cheapest option too. And he does boost commerce quite well. So if he's a commerce. Um, Administrator. Our main commerce town is Guangling. Mm, but I'm not sure if this is the best fit. I still believe Sentinels make better administrators early on. Okay, maybe I will just splurge and give him a rank up. Alright. Now you're 28, at least for the next 10 turns. Um, Huan Zhi could use the armor we just got, but he's likely to be in the fight soon. And we got Z of the Imperial Guard as well. This was the weapon that was owning Xia Houdun. It's actually quite strong. Uh, with the armor together, it enables shield wall, spear wall, and pike wall for own army. Well, that's really strong. That's nice. So that we got a set together. Hmm. Lucky Huan Zhi. If I had more time, I would pull him out. Actually, I do have two time. They can't attack it next turn. So all I need to do here is raise the army and raise Huan Zhi. And disband these level 1 units. Recruit um, a full retinue of spear guards. They're more expensive, but we're not going to be paying the upkeep at all. Because we'll instantly recall this unit. So now, it'll take him one turn, and he'll show up here again with a full retinue of spear guards. And we have that turn because he'll be sieging us. So that's, that's, that's good. Alright, Peng Cheng technically could use another upgrade, but the population is going to kick up too. I feel like Taran doesn't need to be here anymore because we're fully built here. Mm, we're really not building here either. Yangzhou is going to be using doing a lot of building. Uh, we put her here. We put Yu Jin temporarily as the administrator so that we can build cheaply. And aside from that, 
I don't think we need to... I guess we could, we could boost peasantry income. There's quite a bit of peasantry income here. Let's just see if there's any other better place to put assignments. Yeah, let's put a building one here. And maybe something for Yangzhou after um, one of the uh, Cao Yanri calls back. So since this is... Uh, we're going to do land development and uh, government support. Hmm. For peasantry. So it will help produce food here. Yangzhou will be a pretty good food production town. But we don't need to... We can sell food here too. Hmm. Maybe just worry about that later. Let's just build the land development now. Jianye is getting wrecked. That's fine. They're buying time as our army get over. And now we can set Xiao Dun to finish up Yangzhou over here. And then Sun Jian still has uh, Lu Jiang, but we don't need to worry about that. We can, we don't really want Lu Jiang right now. We can just march across and take the rest of Jianye right here after that point. Let's take this fight. Alright, this is basically a um, bombing run because there's no general. It's just three extra units of like 24 cavalry versus the rest of the uh, uh, garrison. So I'll just be uh, skipping this. Alright. Nice easy fight. Uh, shout out to the Howitzer of the Han. Uh, forgot to do it for the earlier battle, but I'll definitely keep a kill count of the Howitzer of the Han uh, going forward. Uh, it'll be on the bottom of the, the bottom of this video, basically. Yeah, I don't know about that. Alright, we picked up uh, Yangzhou Tool Maker and Xia Hou Yuan leveled up. So that's nice. He's also severely lacking items. Um, we'll give his retinue more running speed and then more charging speed. We also need to pick up passion for the melee damage for our shock cavalry. Yeah, let's first pick up mobility. Alright, so they're replenishing here. Uh, we're gonna be losing Jianye. Uh, we don't have. We have a full garrison. Yeah, they just have way too many men. I don't even know if it's worth for us to fight it. Clearly, if we fight it in the field, um, we're gonna be get we're gonna get slaughtered. So, if they want to take the fight to us, that's fine. Or else we have six turns to outlast the siege, um, which will buy us time. Um, I feel like. Once the garrison gets the other um, administrator, Huan Zhi's uh, retinue, it'll be fine. I don't think this army can actually fight us. So maybe they don't need to go back all the way. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we took Yangzhou Toolmaker. That's wonderful. Uh, let's go to next turn. Uh, before we do that, let's see if there's anything I missed. Uh, we picked up a Noble Sword. Uh, Huan Zhi picked up Honest. Which is just a good stat boost for him. Uh, Li Xiu was wounded. A lot of people gained ranks. Our spy is returning. Sadly, didn't work again with Sun Ce. Even though we just wiped out a big army of his, so maybe it will work if we send him back. But I guess it's too late for that now. Lady Ben is not getting along with Huan Zhi. Um, oh well. What can you do? Can't love everybody. Everything's good here. Let's continue. Okay, so Sun Ce didn't want to wait and it's actually taking the fight to us. That's fine. Uh, we'll be fighting this, uh, although I'm pretty sure we'll lose this fight. We'll try to inflict the maximum amount of damage and try to snipe off some of their generals. You know, maybe Sun Ce will find an arrow to the knee or something. Alright, let's go. They got us. Uh, we killed a little bit. 600 men. Not terrible. Uh, we wounded Sun Ce by a lot, but we weren't able to kill him. Uh, same as Lu Su. But it's fine. All 
Oh my god. Okay, Koro really wants to take our character uh, in marriage, but once again, not interested right now. It's quite a big boost though, for us to get married to Koro. Nah, uh, not right now. Alright, uh, these are all not very important right now. Uh, we lost Jian Yan, sure. Uh, Liu Dai declared war on Zhang Yang, okay. Sounds of tapping, a uh, hurt, okay. So we can actually destroy their equipment and diminish. Uh, we don't want to diminish our supplies, we just want to destroy their equipment. Yep. So we have an emergency. Uh, rather than having one army show up, we have a second army led by Lu Bu and Zhang Liao. Uh, Zhang Liao we do want though. Hmm. Uh, we do have our uh, administrator here now. Uh, we have how many turns How many turns till we have to... Actually we can night battle this and just fight Liu Bu's army, which is one option. Uh, but we don't, we, we're not going to be able to beat Liu Bu uh, with our army over there. We have to have Dan Wei come back and help. Uh, even though we're not currently that healthy. I mean, if we run to here... We're close enough to receive reinforcement? Yes, so if they do attack us, we can receive a reinforcement. Oh, this is going to be a tough fight. Liu Bu coming to back to attack our homeland? This is almost historical. He did the same thing historically when we attacked Tao Tian. But now we're just uh, attacking Yangzhou. Uh, Yu Jin leveled up as administrator. Uh, do I want him as administrator in the future? I mean, yes and no, I guess. Doesn't have to be either way. Um, I guess I'll pick up this. He'd be a good administrator. Eh. Maybe composure. Yeah, maybe don't set him up as administrator. We'll have him in the army. She also leveled up. She's level 4 now. Um, and she's definitely better out in the field with this 15% revenue upkeep. So we'll continue to build her as a general. Which one do we want though? I feel like we should go this route first, and then pick up some of these later. Actually, we should pick up precision. This helps armies. We're gonna have ranged units anyways in all our armies. Okay, Chen is under siege. That's unfortunate. Dan Wei's on his way. Oh, misclicked. Uh, we're gonna end our episode here. Uh, we'll fight Liu Bu in the next episode. A lot of action has already happened this episode. Uh, our goal going forward would be obviously take over the rest of Jianye, uh, fight back Liu Bu, and that should be what's uh, urgent and should be done next episode. Uh, see y'all then, hope you guys enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions, and see y'all next time, bye!